Hello students, in this lecture we will be discussing what is a standard and how the standard is created and how the administration of this standard is done. See what this person is doing? He is trying to assemble a computer. These are the different parts of the computer. First is motherboard and processor. We will take it from Intel. It is possible we could have taken from AMD but we have selected from Intel. Then it is a graphic processor which you know mostly the best graphic processor is by NVIDIA. So let us select it from NVIDIA. Other components are memory. It is having three types of memory. One is a ROM, RAM and hard disk. Let us see. We can take ROM from Samsung. RAM from uh, Kingston and hard disk again from the Samsung. What is the need of three different memories in a computer? We can have only one memory. Why three memories? This girl is writing a open book exam. When she got this uh, exam paper, she know that I have to go through this uh, exam paper, try to understand and answer in the answer sheet. So that information whenever she is getting the question paper is known to her. We can say that that is stored in a ROM. Now to write the answers there are two choices. One choice is if she know, she recall what is the answer. She can, it is known in, uh, she remember that in her brain memory and quickly she can write down. Okay, she can write down these answers. Let us say question number one. Now let us say another question is there, let us question number 3, for which C is not able to recall the answer, but you know in some of the textbook it is there, she will try to find out the index, from the index where it is available she will try to see and then write the answer. So if you we'll consider these things, which case it will take more time, definitely for question number 3, for question number 1 it will take less time. The answer for question number one is stored in her brain and assessing that location, assessing that uh, answer from the brain will take less time. That is an example of RAM. So in, com in computer we have RAM where some amount of information is stored that can be assessed very fast. For question number three, she is answering from, she is trying to search from the textbook or notebooks and then answering. So that can be considered as, as hard disk. So your hard disk will be containing all information. So if you want to assess the hard disk, you will get all information, but the time required to assess that hard disk will be more. So that is why what is done, the regularly used information are stored in RAM and rarely used uh, all information are stored in hard disk. So whenever computer want to assess the any information, so it, that will first assess RAM, that's the primary memory. And if it is not available, if it is something is not available, then it will go to hard disk, get that information and get back. That is why assessing RAM will take less time, but assessing hard disk will take more time. Okay. And sometimes we prefer that we should always say that the RAM size should be more so that more information can be available in the RAM. And by, because of that, the computer can be faster. If I have to assess the hard disk frequently, then the time taken will be more. Okay, now let us see, go for the other components. We use mouse and keyboard, for that let us use my Make in India Logitech uh, mouse. For monitor let us use uh, LG monitor, for speaker I can use Sony speaker, right. So I think most of the things I have already covered, any other things, uh, components required you can take it, select it. Now if we will assemble the parts of the computer and use appropriate software. Will it work? Yes, it will work. We generally get assembled computers, right? We can go to a computer shop and ask, you please assemble a computer for this thing, this, 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 this specification. And that person will combine those things and give you the computer. That works, okay? Now I am coming to another example, a car. I want to get a car, I need the engine, I found out that there is one old car which is having an ambassador car, which engine is very working fine, 
it cost me only 5000 rupees so i got that as a engine of ambassador car and i like the outer look of bmw so i thought uh, i shall get the body of bmw that costs less seat i selected from honda light i can take it from santro uh, steering for maruti wheels of audi because it looks it is outside the look i don't want to compromise body i have selected from bmw wheel also i i shall select from audi so now i shall assemble those things or uh, and any other things required i shall take it and assemble will it work no it will not work okay so we have taken two examples first is uh, assembling the parts of a computer that worked when we assemble the parts of a car that that is not working why it is not working for computer it is working but car it is not working what is the reason in computer all the parts are standardized whereas in car all the parts are not standardized then let us see what is a standard standard provides a model for development that makes it possible for a product to work regardless of the individual manufacturer let us take one example of pc in pc if you want to have a mouse okay this is what is let us say mouse okay this mouse you can select from logitech you can select from sony you can select from dell any company you select that will work so what you will do you will try to find out something which cost low and good quality but let us say i have a bmw car i don't have but i'm assuming the bmw car the steering is not working fine is out of order so what i shall do when i went to purchase the replace the bmw steering it costs too high so i thought that no i shall not go for the steering of bmw so i shall take it from maruti that will not work because the the steering parts are not standardized i have to get only from bmw even if it cost very high okay so that the reason is that in case of computer network in case of pcs all the things are standardized whereas in case of automobiles the components are not standardized each component is made by the specific vendor and they charge for that whatever they charge you have to pay for that so what is the advantage of standardization it creates an open and competitive market you saw for the mouse you have option of selecting from many vendors so so in that case all vendors will try to make the give the good quality with lower price provides guidelines to the manufacturer that you have to do this way so that all the manufacturers things will be compatible to each other because of this the competitiveness increases and customers finally gets advantage of that now let us discuss how standards are developed and used standards are developed by cooperation among three group of people standard creation committee forum and government regulatory agencies so these three group of people coordinate and see that the standard is created and is used let us discuss the standard creation committee they provide the model or format for compatibility improved quality increased productivity and decreased price so the standard creation committee when forms the standard they look into these things for any specific uh, requirement and then provide the create the standard some examples of standard creation committees are iso itut ieee eia ansi these are the different uh, group of people who create standards for different purpose once standard is created that need to be validated well so forum validates this uh, standards the forum works with universities and uni users to test evaluate and standardize new technologies developed by the standard creation committee so they will see the standard what is created by the standard creation committee they will try to evaluate it, it is, whether it is working or not if there is any problem they will give feedback and accordingly the standard will be modified and finally a standard will be created standard will be approved it the standard may approve may not approve also depending on what the forum decides what the forum decides based on that it will be done 
So there are some examples of forums are Frame Relay Forum, ATM Forum, IETA Forums. Once the standard is created, it may be used or may not be used. That depends on the regulatory agencies. So these are the government agencies to protect the public interest. So their objective is to review the rate of service charge of telephone and telegraphy, to review the technical specification of communications, hardware, to divide and allocate radio frequencies, all this done by the government regulatory agency. For India, the regulatory agency is TRI, Telecom Regulatory Authority of uh, India. Okay. Suppose the standard for the 5G is ready. Okay. Whether we India will allow immediately 5G or not, that depends on their policy. The government will try to find it, make make a ecosystem. The industry should be there, the service should be provided, the customers should be happy. So those things, looking to all these things, the regulatory agencies may allow or may not allow a standard at a specific time. Okay, in the previous slides we discussed how a standard is created. Now we will focus on internet standard creation. This is specifically for internet. So what is done? The standard creation committee creates a specification known as the internet draft. First is the internet draft. Then that will be uh, published for uh, request for comment. That is called as the proposed standard. Second stage is the proposed standard. The proposed standard will be evaluated by the forum. This will be available for six months time, approximately six months time. Two, at least two people will try, two group of people will try to implement that, validate that the standard is correct or not. If there is any difficulties, they will give feedback and the changes are done. Once those things are taken care of in a six months time, that will go to the third stage, that is the draft standard. So once the draft standard is ready, it is understood that the standard is almost uh, fine. Now again, within a four months time, two or more group of people will try to work on this whether uh, is there any loophole or it can move to the final standard stage, stage or not. So the draft standard reaches internet standard, standard status after demonstration of successful implementation. So one, two, three, fourth stage is the internet standard. If a draft or proposed standard in the third stage, second stage or third stage, in those stages, if uh, the validation is not successful, validation is not successful, then those two standards, those standards will go to unhistoric standards. If a draft or proposed standard cannot pass the necessary maturity label to become an internet standard, becomes a historic standard. Okay. It is possible that internet standard was uh, formed five years back. Now a new standard came which is better than the earlier standard for a specific purpose. So what can be done? The old standard can go to historic uh, standard label and the new standard should replace that old standard. That is possible. So if an internet draft describes work related to an experimental uh, situation that does not affect the operation of the internet then that is not implemented and that also go to a historic experimental document. Sometimes internet draft is related to information only, then that also go to a historic document. Okay, So these are the two types of uh, possibilities that are there, which will not become an internet standard, but it will go to historic and becomes a historic document. Okay, We discussed what is the need of a standard how standards are formed. Now we'll see how the internet standards are administrated. There is an internet society which supports for standard creation. So they take help from the technical advisor group that is the Internet Architectural Board. So with their help, the internet society creates standards. So to do that, Internet Architectural Board take help of two group of people. One is uh, Internet Engineering Task Force IETA. This is a forum of working group managed by Internet Engineering Steering Groups. 
the internet engineering steering group are mainly responsible for identifying the problems related to operation and develop and review specifications intended for internet standards applications protocols routing network management and security aspects the other group of people are uh, internet research task force IRTF they focus on long term research topics related to internet protocol that's all regarding the internet standard creation and administrations thank you if you have any comments please or queries please drop it in the comment box